Howdy folks! <laughs> ah, well, welcome to another Xterra Pro Adventure. Um, yeah, I've managed to fix the headphones for the meantime. Still waiting to sort out the other headphones. Um, yeah, but today I thought we'd do some hillsides, some mole hills, and some long grass. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. We're on the other the other end of the artillery fields. Trapman's right down there. So yeah, let's see what we can get up here in the hills, in the rocky bits. Hopefully something. Well, off to a nice quick start. Just pop straight out. Looks like a uh, George V to me. So uh, yeah, George V penny. Uh, read the date on that one actually. Read the date better than I could see the head. That's uh, 1925 on that one. So cool, gets us started with some coinage. Woohoo! Come on, let's have a coin day. Ain't had a coin day for ages. So it uh, it got a bit quiet. I've just had this little bullet casing. Cool. And for some reason, I don't know why, but there is flies everywhere. And you see the headphones look amazing fix on them. Uh, had to take them to bits, splice some wires and all that type of shizzle. So uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find anything else, shall we? Oh, there's a Pidgey rig. That's, uh, what's that? 42 years old. It's two years younger than me. Uh, yeah. Pidgey ring. Should imagine that probably got picked off by one of the uh, peregrines around here. Yeah, well, on to the next. Well, I feel terrible here. Um, I don't know if you can see there, folks. There is a coin there, but, um, yeah, I've just really upset that ant's nest that is totally covering what I think is just going to be a modern penny. Uh, they don't look like normal black ants to me. Black ants are normally smaller. I'm hoping they're not wood ants. Sorry, guys. I know it's only going to be something like a modern penny. Maybe it's not. Get off! Ow! <laughs> so what we got? We got a little, uh, what is it? Is that a little far? I think, I think it's a little farthing, folks. Farthing. Yeah, I think it's a little farthing. Oh, the poor ants. I'm so sorry. Never mind. another coin well, I just said to myself that one was a can it wasn't it was a chuffing great lump of uh, lead it's like a it's like a plug hole off something big folded in piece of lead look hmm another heavy thing to carry around add it to the uh, other three cans that I've already found all that rhymed <laughs> So let me just say that the soil around here is very deceiving. Um, this, I've noticed this a few times. So you get this orangey rust colour. So you pull out the rusty thing of such and then you start rubbing it off and it turns out to be a silver coin. <laughs> Come on, focus. What sort of yeah, phone's doing my head in recently? Uh, yeah, so, um, little silver. Oh, it's a George the Third. It's another George the Third, so it's a proper silver. <laughs> uh, I think that's, I think I can read 1819 down at the bottom. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, I wonder if I walk down here if I can find another little silver. I bet you it's a George the Third. And for Psychic. Nice. Sorry, he's upside down, but uh, yeah, cool. Bling! Well, I've just pulled out what I thought was part of a pen knife. And then as I cleaned it, I realised it's actually a tiny little comb. Um, yeah. So that's what's made me think it's like a fold-out pen knife, the little rivet or whatever it is there. It's unusual, that. Never found anything like that. 
I should imagine it's only 1900s, 1920s. We'll clean it up when we get back. Might have to put that in the good tub because it's quite brittle. I think I may have snapped a, a tooth or two from up here. Hmm, interesting. Well, I've just found two pound. But they're old pounds, so it's not even spendy anymore. Uh, uh, not even, not even changeable anymore. But two pounds, two old pounds, Queen Elizabeth II. God bless your mom. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's find some more silver. Oh, I've just pulled out this bit of pot. It's probably 1600 stuff. Uh, but the signal turned out to be a lovely spindle whirl. Um, I'd be surprised if that one's not patterned. That's beautiful. I do love a spindle whirl. Absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully it's an old one. Leave it till we get back, give it a clean up. Might be a patterned one. I think it is. Looks like it might have some pattern. Definitely a spindle whirl. Can't get those light. Where's the light? Hmm. I can't see my phone today. It's really, really terrible, dusty screen. Hmm. Nice though. Nice lead spindle whirl. Uh, I've just come around to the high bit of uh, Shrapland. Just got a two shilling. It's going to be a Queen Elizabeth, isn't it? Yeah, Queen Elizabeth the second. Two shilling. Coinage. Hmm. Well, that's an unusual piece of lead. Uh, it's probably just some smelt from something, but flat on the bottom. Don't think that is anything on the top, but... Hmm. Yeah, well. Hmm. Well, I uh, just pulled out a bent-up Edward the Seventh out of the road. I just caught this top when I was digging it out, because it's uh, just stone, really. Caught up in this uh, stone road. 1907 on that one. Cool. Well, seem to have just found a little Queen Victoria farting. Farthing. Farting. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Do you know what? I think I'm going to call it today. The summit. I don't know. Not feeling... 100% today, so we'll catch this up tomorrow. All right, folks, see you tomorrow. Sunday, 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 different field. Hi, folks, we're on a different field today. And when I say we, uh, yeah, because I've not walked here. Um, had somebody bring me today. Uh, you'll find out soon when he's finished taking a piss. Uh, right, so today we're going to do this field, lovely ploughed field as you can see. Uh, just over there is the remnants of, it's not a castle, but there is the remnants of something over there. Right, let's see what we can find today. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Come on, let's get some good. So first find today seems to be looking at this edge. And this edge, it looks like it's worked to me. You can see a, a bulb, bulb of percussion. See the little uh, ripples from it. Uh, phone's doing that thing again where it doesn't want to focus. And uh, I forgot to tell you, yes, he's here. Say hello, Matt. Hi, Matt. Yes, so it's me and Matt again today. The Matt came back. Uh, <laughs> yes, the very next day. Um, so let's get on with it. Not found any metal yet. Nice piece of flint. Well, there's not a lot of metal coming out. It's a very quiet field, actually. I just found this. It's quite nice. Probably is broken, but I think it will still stand. <laughs> That's quite cool, that is. <laughs> cool. Well, finally, got something made out of metal. We've actually left the, uh, the first field, moved on to the second. I'm just walking up this uh, this uh, washed out ditch line. Uh, the water's washed it out of the field. Yeah, I'm just walking up here just to basically check 
see if there's any flint. Well, it's mostly all flint, so <laughs> hopefully we'll find some. But yeah, first bit of metal, don't know what it is. Mixed metal, uh, bronze on the outside, looks like there's iron on the inside. Hmm, don't know what it is. On to the next thing. So here's my second metal signal of the day. Uh, seems to be a little draw knob or something. Brass or bronze draw knob. I thought I'd show you this as well, which is a lovely piece of uh, possibly Jurassic seabed. See all the fossils in there, all the fossilised shells. We'll keep that though, that's uh, it's quite nice though. Just... Right, I think me and Matt are either going to go find another field or we might end up back in Shrapland. So yes, we're back here. Um, the other fields, yeah, lovely fields, but NFG. No fucking good. Um, yeah, so back to Shrapland. Let's see if we can get some hand grenade bits and there's got to be something else amongst it. Let's see if we can find any shine today. See if Matt can get any shine. He's got a signal at the minute, but God knows what it is. Probably tinfoil. So uh, Matt's just uh, got a big piece of iron in the hole. Uh, I walked over to him and said it was a uh, horseshoe. What was it, Matt? It's a horseshoe. It's a horseshoe. Do you know how I know it were a horseshoe? Because it looked like the f***ing end one. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something else in here. It's not going too well so far, folks, but uh, yeah, come on. We're finding bits and bobs. Yeah, it's bits and bobs. Bitsy, just more bobsies. Yes. Well, folks, it's a modern penny, but hella flipping Luya because, you know, uh, yeah, it's the first coin I've seen today. Where the hell is everything? I got some it. I finally got some it. And at first, I thought it were a button, but um, I've actually managed to rub off the blasted patina off the other side. But I think, people, this could be a medieval jet. Um, it's definitely some kind of picture on this side. It does resemble the side that you uh, would have a pin in the middle if it was a button, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a jetton. I'm going to put it in the good tub anyway, stop it getting rubbed in my uh, pouch. But hopefully that is something because it's gone that shit. What you had, Matt? There you go. Well, welcome back, folks. And what a frustrating second day that was. Um... Last thing kind of saved it, but you know, yeah. Matt's now gone home. Thanks to Matt. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for all the help and everything. Uh, yeah. Um, let's have a look then. Good job. I found a few bits of the day before, isn't it? it? Really is. Let's see what we got. Starting off with the grapnel and shrapnel. Uh, yeah. Got some deep iron buckles. Uh, yeah, that one's still got its pin. Don't know if you can see that there, but yeah, deep iron. Um, the big, still think it might be a plug hole or something like that. Big lead funnel for something. Um, yeah, Mills grenade plug, Mills grenade top. Feeling a lot more top, but this one's quite cool because it's got. Uh, Number 68, I think that's ATF, and 42, which I think is the year. And it also looks like there's a, it could be an IV, yeah, it looks like an IV just there. So, yeah, uh, if anybody knows about their militaria and this type of stuff, maybe you could let me know a bit more information in the comments. Uh, like I say, don't normally go into the shrapnel, but yeah, quite interesting. And the Mills grenade plug. Yeah, number 36M, Mills. Right, that's enough of the shrapnel. You've seen it all. Let's move on. Moving on to the next lot of uh, dross up the scale. <laughs> uh, some nice bits, actually. I like the little draw handle. That's quite cool from uh, the other side today. Yeah little drawer handle it's cool um the little comb from yesterday it's quite nice and uh, i told you it was brittle look 
See? Let's just snap the teeth off. Oh, well. <laughs> it's probably, like I say, 1940s, something like that. This, which I think could be a, a thingy off a walking stick. There is a little hole. Um, a little hole in one of them. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so there's a little hole. Could be off a walking stick or something like that, I think. Um, what's it called? A bevel or something? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the other thing that I found today, a copper outside with the iron inside. <sighs> no idea. Another thing we don't know. This is quite cool. I'm pretty sure this is an impacted musket ball. Or impacted... Um, bullet that's why it's got that splayed out pattern you see so it's uh i should imagine it's impacted yes impacted that side so yeah impacted that side so i think that's an impacted musket ball uh pigeon ring that's a uh, 1982 yeah 42 years old should imagine that was picked off by uh, Peregrine Falcon because there's quite a few around that area. Uh, and the strange lead bit. That's it for all that. Not very interesting. So, did we get to Button Moon this week? Well, uh, no, we didn't. Only the 12 buttons this week. Uh, there's a couple for you button lovers. Oh, you're going to like this one. I quite like this one. Um, Focus phone, bloody phone. So yeah, this one seems to have like a, a falcon or a little hawk on it, which is quite nice. It's a pity it's all rubbed off, but yeah, I quite like that. And there's also, uh, where is it? It's also this one, which is, um, has got, Trying to work out what the letter it was on it. Can't work out if it's got a little A on it or a little V on it, but it's definitely got some kind of uh, letter on it. I think it's an A. Yes, I think it's an A. But something quite nice. Thought you button lovers might like those ones. So let's do coins. Um, yeah, a lot of modern coinage, including the two shilling. It's Elizabeth II. Um, yeah, <laughs> modern coinage. Let's move that. Uh, that's uh, George V. I think I said in the field this was 1925. It's actually 1927, but another nice penny. Uh, the Edward VII that I found in the road. That's 1907. It's probably had a cart or something run over at some point. Uh, moving on, got a lovely little farthing. Uh, that's also a George V. Yes, George V. And moving on to our last one, which is a young Victoria. And I believe the date on that is 1878. So, yeah, not bad with that coinage. Let's move on to some better stuff. Well, there's some of the flint things I picked up today. Now, it's still a bit inconclusive at the minute. Um, not many people have answered my uh, messages, but um, this one definitely seems to have a bulb of cushion. It definitely seems to have been struck, but as for finding any working, true working on it, it does seem to be what looks like working just here, but... I think it's a tractor lift. I think it's been caused by a tractor. Whether that has been struck by a man once upon a time and has been used by something or has something, I don't know. And if it has, maybe the tractor's now destroyed it. I don't know. But out of everything, that's about our only one that is any good. This one, this one looks like a pot lid, although it does seem to have a bit of a bulb cushion up here. But it's just a pot lid. There doesn't seem to be any working on it. So, more than likely, just a pot lid. I'm thinking a lot of this is just smashed up by the tractor, hit by the cultivator, and maybe even created some of the bops. This one, this one is another one. It seems to have what looks like a bop with some bulbs of percussion. 
See the cushion lines down here. But there's this bit here, all in here and around here. It looks work to me. Now, I'll leave it on the flint site for a while, but I don't know. There's something a bit more uniform about this bit here. I find a lot of natural bits of flint. Uh, I can't remember what you call it, but natural bits of flint with working. And some of it just turns out to be just tractor damage, just plow damage. So we'll see if it turns out to be some. I'll put on another video. Let's move on to the best stuff. And yes, we do have some lovely bits and bobs. So let's start with this lovely spindle whirl. Now you can see it is patterned. It's got some lovely patterns on it. Let me just do something. It sometimes works, and sometimes I fluff it up. So I've just got some soot from the fire. And I'm just going to gently just rub over it. So there, you can see some of the pattern on that side. Flip it over. So yeah, another lovely pattern spindle whirl. Shall I add that to my huge collection of spindle whirl? I've got, oh, must have at least 50 of these things. If I remember, I'll, uh, Put a little, um, put a little photo up. All right, let's move on. So next up, we've got this, which is that the coin from the the very end of the video. Uh, yeah, like I say, I'm not 100 sure that all the tin rubbed off this side. Couldn't work out if it got a face or a head on it, but on this side, um, where is it? Did make it out. It's got kind of like an off-printed shield. Where is it? Aha, there. So, yeah, it's got like an off-printed shield. Can you see that? So, I think this could be a Jetton. Uh, anybody knows, comment below, say differently. But, yeah, I think this one could be a Jetton. Quite nice. Didn't actually clean it up anymore. Just gave it a little bit more of a gentle wash off with some water. And I've left it like that because, yeah, I don't want to rub that off really. Which takes us on to our last and probably our best find, which is this absolutely stunning, and it is a good one. It's an 1819 George III. And that is in beautiful condition. Absolutely stunning condition. Uh, full silver, um, and that is a sixpence, but that is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I shall leave you on our gorgeous Georges there. Well, there you go. Wasn't all bad in the end. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some good bits, especially the spindle well, the little jetting and the silver coin but uh yeah so like i said thanks for matt for coming down uh big shout out to night fancy at the minute you'll find out why soon um yeah uh ch -ch -ch, what else have i got to say not really that much more it's been a long enough video long enough show and tell so let's just finish it thanks for subscribing folks thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and carry on hitting that silly bell thing Bing! Um, until the next one, guys. Tatty bye, and thanks for coming.